Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range today, doing a little bit of goofing around. And I wanted to do a quick video for you guys, kind of testing out, hopefully it'll be quick, testing out this uh, <clears throat> new Beeman RS2 pellet gun I got. So what I'm going to do in this video, we're going to shoot a group. I've got it zeroed with the 177 barrel. I haven't tried this, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I've got it zeroed for the 177 barrel using these JTS 8.7 greens. We'll shoot a group with that. It is pretty, uh, the scope's pretty woeful, so I'm not really expecting too much out of it. Um, it is, just so you guys know, I'm sure somebody would say something if I didn't, but the scope is actually mounted uh, incorrectly right now so that the windage is on top here and the elevation is on the left-hand side. I don't have the tools out here with me to change it. I didn't notice it until I got it out here to the to the range. But what we're going to do is I'm going to shoot a group with the 177 barrel. Then I'm going to swap in the 22 barrel and see how far off it is. And I'm not really going to change it because I'm more interested. I'm, I'm hoping it will go right to, right to zero with the 22, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. But we'll shoot a group with the 22 barrel. And then I'll put it back to the 177 and see how close it comes back to zero again with uh, putting the 177 back in where it was already zeroed. So, um, so two, five, three, five shot groups with a couple of barrel swaps in between shouldn't take too long to do. I am right up against the end of the day again today. It's actually not that close to, it is starting to get towards dusk, but, uh, it's actually raining right now <laughs> and we got a storm moving through and uh, it, I think we're at the tail end of it but I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at the um, right hand target out there first All right. I will definitely be putting a different scope on this guy before before too off along probably Put a nice little three to nine with one of those zero recoil mounts on here. I think that will work out really nice. This little four power just does, is not cutting it. I think that it's over to the right edge there. Ah. Not a bad little springer though. Trigger's pretty woeful. <laughs> I think this is one of those ones though that uh, very much like the Crossman ones that can benefit very greatly from the RC bearing mod. So I will be working on that as well. Uh, definitely like a mile a mile of take up and then just mushy. I'm barely keeping them all on the, that splatter burst. That is a four inch splatter burst for, for reference. Oh, I hope my, hope my downrange camera doesn't get water inside of it. It is a, it's an iPhone 10, so it's supposed to be waterproof. <laughs> to keep them all on the splatter burst so now let's go ahead so this is pretty easy to do I actually when I bought it the 22 barrel was on it so you take a four millimeter there's a little Allen set screw right here uh, at the front of the uh, breech block so you just uh, loosen that ah. loosen that little four millimeter set screw there's a little little dimple there that uh, on the barrel that should help bring it right back into alignment but that's why I wanted to do this test <laughs> Oop, don't, don't have it quite far enough yet okay so there's the 177 barrel out I'll show you guys on the barrel so it has this little shoulder here and then 
way up here it has this little dimple that the set screw actually is to line up into. Feels like it's lining right up nice. So what do you guys think? Is it gonna be anywhere near on? Uh, I, I hope I can at least hit the paper. Oh, my target, my target papers are falling down. Oh. So now I have the JTS. These are the 16.08, so the basically double the, double the weight. Let me go fix that real quick. Stand by. Alrighty, I am back. <laughs> it is just just spitting and sputtering a little bit. Nothing too bad. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can even hit the paper here. Oh yeah, <laughs> dead center. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? You can actually swap the barrels back and forth without having to re-zero. It looks like it's really accurate with these 22 pellets too, wow. I haven't really tried any other pellets with it yet, so I don't know if some may do better with the 177. All right, having a tough time seeing where that one went. I don't know if, oh, uh, is it just off to the right hand side of the splatter burst there, I think. I gotta make sure, make sure I grab a 22 size and not a 177 because the 177s will go in but they just won't go very good all right i wonder if that I wonder if that second that last one before that one was a 177 Do one more and then we'll uh, swap the other barrel back over. <laughs> All right, got a mosquito on my back. All right, that looks really good for the 22. We have 22s. This may be a 22 shooter. <laughs> I wonder if I did lose track of time. It is get, it is getting dark quick, unless there's a really bad cloud coming in. <laughs> five shot group for all the marbles will it even can I even go on these uh, these 177s go into the 177 barrel a lot harder than the 22s go into the 22 barrel all right fresh splatter burst to the left there I 
All right, still on the splatter burst. Maybe onto something here. Just got to find some pellets it likes. I mean, the, once it, the 22 seems to like these JTSs already, but the 177s were proven a little less than lackluster. They're less than. All right, still on the splatter burst. Oh, wow, it's dark. <laughs> Before I thought I was having some problems with my phone. <clears throat> uh, it was looking really dark, even though on this phone, even though it wasn't really dark out, but it was just the actual screen of the phone dimming into the as it got a little bit darker out. All right, all right. <clears throat> Definitely needs another scope, and we need to find some better 177 pellets, but I think we're really, uh, got something to work with here. Usually these JTSs have been working good in a lot of my springers. The 177s, I mean. All right, last one. Did not see where that one went. I'll check it when I do the. But it looks like I kept them all into that splatter burst. So I think I just I may have pulled one. I don't know. It might have been. A, <laughs> I might have accidentally grabbed a 177 when I was shooting the 22. Had one of them fly out, but the rest of them are all in a nice little pattern there. So anyway, there you go. That is the uh, first look at the Beeman RS2. Really pretty cool. Uh, they still actually, you can still get this in a, both a synthetic and a wood stock. Um, I think they still do it with the dual calibers as well. This one's an older version, but uh, really pretty cool. I'll be working on the trigger on it, get a better scope on it. This will be a lot of fun. So, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.